Fairy Falls. We're here uh, a couple days later. Probably one of the most underrated free places that I've ever got to go, I think, around here. It's only 10 minutes away from where I'm at. It's over in Stillwater. I was actually super surprised this day. Uh, we kind of just went there out of the blue. And uh, <laughs> that sweet uh, waterfall you can see right there. The parking lot was just off where the sign was. There's just these couple spots like this. And so it really took me by surprise this one did. And uh, check this out. So you actually start right here walking down. Right away it's almost like you can see just below the falls or above the falls watching it come down. You're like, well, that's a cool little stream. And then you notice you can stand off to the side and there it is. It's falling right down from right there. So that was really unique for like a free place, easy walking. I will say that if you can check out this, it's not, uh, we definitely got lost. The trail was hard to find. Um, there was uh, some unique, just no signage. You kind of had to find your way. From what we saw from the map, that definitely didn't go along the lines of the same way. But uh, it has this cool, check this out. You're up here on this ridge, surrounded by all this public land, or private land, sorry, and then there's just this trail that goes down. So you're like finding your way through it all. And uh, it's cool limestone cliffs to the side. Check this out as you're walking along. How cool is that? It's almost like a interstate park has that really cool little area up there. And it comes right up to the falls. For like Minnesota in a free park, I couldn't believe how cool this this land was. Definitely like super um, low key, super uh, out of nowhere. Just caught me off guard this one did because I'm a person that loves me some falls. And uh, it was definitely for like a quick little walk besides the fact of trying to figure out where you're going. It was just pretty amazing, I thought. For like there's some state parks that don't have falls like this that it's fairly high up and cool you know there is some graffiti and some other things since it's not super kept up but there's this cool rock right here so Definitely something you should try if you live in the Twin Cities of Minnesota if you're looking for like a hike that's like not talked about a lot. Maybe I'm wrong, but I thought it was pretty cool. So thanks for watching. Check this one out. Um, I don't think you'll be disappointed if you like some falls. In